Oh, happy Tuesday morning. This is Brandon Campbell coming to you live on part two of what you should do if you're on child support or old back child support to help yourself out to get yourself ahead. And in the following video I just done, I was talking about how you should start your part-time business. And I know that it's not the conventional way of doing things. A lot of people always say, get this lawyer, you know, get a second job, get caught up on your child support. That's the long way. It's the wrong way. And just because you owe back child support when you go to spend time with your kids does not mean that they would not ask you, mother or father, hey, can I have this? I want this. I want that. And basically... I'm just saying that we, as men or women, because there's women on child support too, must do better by our kids. And the only way to do better is by owning a business. Because right now, there's millions and millions of people without a job that's been laid off due to this COVID-19 and aren't able to take care of their families. But there is a way. And no matter what position you're in at this time in your life, whether you're laid off, broke, out of work, can't work, there is a way. And that is why, you know, I advertise, I teach on my channel. That is what I teach. You know, how to people to get out the hole, how to make a better life for yourself, to live a meaningful life. Because some of this unconventional stuff out here, like your Dave Ramses, your Susie Ormans, you know, uh, you know, invest in these four hundred one ks and invest in these IRAs, but yet I've I have not seen any one of them present the, the proof to help people in the long term. Because there's a lot of people that retire with these four hundred one ks and IRAs that still have to work. But back to the point, uh, the best thing for anyone to do is to open a part-time business because on average, you know, the average American worker makes less than $33,000 a year, which means they don't make much. So jobs will be replaced soon in the next couple of years by automation and they they getting replaced now. I mean, it's just amazing how through this whole COVID nineteen shutdown that they just slowly sneaking in technology. And you know, I want to be the guy to be there to help you to get yourself ahead, no matter what the situation to be. So you don't have to be out here broke, busted, and disgusted, and and kicked to the side with the rest of the people that don't want to try to do nothing better for themselves, you know, that that don't want to learn nothing new because they think just because they got a degree that's going to protect them. I mean, it's, it's tons of people with a degree that is still out of work. Tons of people that, that cannot find work because a lot of the jobs are shitting down. But one thing we can worry about here is we got a family to provide for. We got children that we got to send to college. We got, we got children that depend on us.